Hey, what's up, y'all? Pretty Beggar here. Uh, got something fun and a little bit different today. Um, I got a message this morning from somebody on Instagram. She says, hey, a bit random, but do you have the sheet music for Tell You What? It's my favorite song, and I want to learn the piano, but I'm not good at playing by ear. And I'm looking for something to do during quarantine. Well, aren't we all? So Tell You What, that's out my first album, Tell Them We Say Hi. It's a piano ballad kind of a song. And uh, yeah, I like it too, so I'd be happy to show you how to play it. Unfortunately, I don't have sheet music. I'm an untrained musician. I play everything by ear, and I've just sort of learned by doing over the years, but also learned by referencing YouTube tutorials of how to play piano, guitar, sing, what have you. So if I can't give you sheet music, uh, hopefully this video tutorial will help you out, and you'll be playing it in no time. And if there's somebody else out there that wants to learn how to play this song, here you go. Coming at you right now. All right, here we are at the keyboard. Uh, I'm playing on a Nord Electro 5D. I use this in the studio and live. I mentioned that up front because I'm going to mention a couple fully optional sounds that are in the album recording that come directly off of this keyboard. Okay, so the song is quite simple. It's deceptively simple. It's really just based off of two chords and then... There's a couple more things that happen in the bridge. So right away, when we get into the beginning of the song on the album version, there's a swell of uh, atmospheric noise that comes in. And that comes from the Nord. So when I play that first chord, essentially what I have here is a synth uh, orchestra with a really slow attack that comes in nice and slowly at the beginning of the song and just provides some, like I said, atmosphere, ambiance in the background. But again, this, you can find this sound uh, so many places. It's just a synth version of an orchestra with a slow attack. And it's just layered on top of the piano so that when I play the keys, um, it plays both the grand piano sound and the strings at the same time. So as I hold down the sustain pedal, it gives it a long enough time for that attack to come in. Okay, so pretty much this entire song is built off of two chords, okay? So that's the chord progression that you hear throughout the verse. Okay, and that's just two chords. We're just playing a C sharp major. And then this is an E flat minor seven, and then back to the C sharp major. Okay, so what I'm doing on the left hand for the C sharp major, I do an octave with a fifth, and that's on C sharp octave. And then on the right hand here, I'm finishing off this uh, C sharp major shape. I'm splitting it between the two hands, as you can see. And then I just play an F and an A flat and a C sharp. Okay, and then the second chord is, uh, let's see, E flat minor seven. So we just shift the left hand up by a full step. So here you are playing an E flat octave with a fifth. And then over here on the right hand, again, finishing this chord with one more note up here. So then we're playing an F sharp, B flat, and a C sharp. So if you're not a very sophisticated piano player like me, it's nice because this ring finger here is sort of your anchor. Because it never has to move. Okay, so again, that second chord. So your E flat octave with the fifth. Then F sharp, B flat, C sharp. And then resolve back. Okay, so that's your whole verse. It's just two chords. So some of these little accents and things is really just a rhythm back and forth between the left and right hand. You'll hear this throughout the verse.
So I've never written this part out. I just kind of play it by feel. So just let the fingers dance around a little bit and find some uh, rhythm and accents that sound nice to you. Now, before each piece of the verse cycles, I do a little bit of this. So that's just an add nine right there, and I just play it with the pinky. And again, this is just a natural rhythm that my body has, um, and it just sort of figured it out by trial and error. So. That's all I do. So it sounds like this. Okay, so there you go. Two chords with just a little bit of spice in between to make it sound a little more complicated. Okay, now if we jump to the bridge, there's just a little bit of difference in the bridge. So it starts off with this chord here, which is apparently a C-sharp major 7 sus2, uh, according to my DAW, but I'm just playing an A-flat shape up here, A-flat major, and then down here I'm playing that same first position left hand with a C-sharp octave and a fifth. Okay, so it's nice. The left hand during the bridge is going to do the same shapes and movement uh, during this new two chord progression, but the right hand just has a little bit of change. Um, it starts with being in an A flat shape. And then the second chord we play during the bridge, again, the left hand moves up to that same E flat octave plus a fifth, and the right hand moves down to that same, this is that same E flat minor seven. Uh, it was the second chord during the verse. So the bridge sounds like this. So pretty easy, right? So again, here's that first chord. Here's the second one, but you've seen it before. Okay, so that's the meat of the bridge there. This is the if I stand here waiting line. Yeah, but if I stand here waiting on Mary Go. Okay, so then there's a, a little breakdown section um, in the bridge, but it's built off of the same chords. So if I do a... That's kind of what it sounds like. So as you can see, it's built off of the same chords. So here's your A flat with the C sharp root. And then up here, I just jump to A flat octave. So again, you have your A flat here and your A flat octave up there. And then I just kind of dance around in the middle just to throw some spice on it. So there I'm just doing C sharp and C. Okay, and then your second chord, okay, we're back at that uh, E flat minor seven. And then up here, I just do an F octave. And then I just dance around in the middle.
so what you'll find is this goes back and forth. And then the whole band comes in. And you just keep playing the same thing. some tension as you exit the bridge you basically play this a flat octave just over and over so it goes uh Okay, so all you're doing is playing a, a triplet rhythm, which takes a second because the song is in 4-4, but you just round out this triplet rhythm and just cycle it, and so you'll kind of, uh, your cycle is one beat off from where the rest of the song is, is rooted, but you'll feel that rhythm, how that cycles back and uh, matches up. You'll feel that pretty quick. So you just play that same uh, A flat slash C sharp root. So you're building tension. And then to exit the bridge with just some more tension, you just come in here uh, and play that E flat minor seven as a build. And then you're back to that last chorus. Okay. Now for a couple fun things, um, when I'm playing this song, live I like to start and end it with just a little bit of uh, extra flavor and sometimes improvisation so a lot of times what I like to do is you can do this with a piano too but sometimes I jump down to an electric piano like this and throw in a little funky bluesy kind of bit in the beginning so I'll just start the song from Nothing. I don't have the swells or anything. I just play it on the electric piano and I just do some hammer ons with the right hand. So it sounds a little bit like this. So these are the same chords. I'm just playing it with a little choppier blues rhythm in these hammer ons here. Yeah, so it sounds like this. That's pretty simple. You might have to play that by ear, um, but basically, uh, as you're doing some of those movements, just let go of your sustain pedal to give it some clarity, and then every time you come back on a full chord, hit that sustain pedal. So. it feel more like it's resolving okay and then I just jump into the song okay so you can do that and then um, a lot of times when I end the song live um, since I don't have that big swell then a lot of times I don't have a band with me I'll just do this really long extended arpeggio so after I finish the song I won't have to change your mind. Sometimes I'll do that part again. I'll kind of 
kind of set it up like that and do this long extended arpeggio. Okay, so again, I'm not much of a piano player, but let's see if I can call out these notes here. So I'll just do a... again to help resolve everything and I'll let that hang and then just do uh, C sharp oh boy C sharp uh, A flat C sharp F A flat C sharp F A flat C E flat, uh, F, A flat. So, and I won't have to change your mind. So feel free to try that if you like. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's really a two-chord song. Don't take any of it too seriously. Just let the fingers kind of dance around between the two chords and such and uh, make it your own. It sounds good uh, upbeat with the band, much like the album. It sounds good on an electric piano, kind of low-key, jazzy, bluesy uh, feel, slowed down, sped up. It's all good. Okay, there you go. That's how you play Tell You What. It's off my first album, Tell Them We Say Hi, which you can find and stream anytime, anywhere. You can play along now with this tutorial. Uh, hopefully this video gets you up and running pretty quickly, but also shows you a little bit how the song was put together on the album and a few extra little tidbits of things that you can integrate into your playing to make it fun, spice it up, make it your own, that kind of thing. Uh, this is my first video tutorial, so let me know if you enjoyed it, uh, and let me know in the comments down below if there's this, another song off of one of my albums that you would like me to do. I'd be happy to do so. If you really got a lot out of this video, make sure to throw a like down below. That'll help YouTube pick it up and get the video out to some more people, uh, some more people that might enjoy learning it the same way you did. And if you really like all my music and you enjoy these video tutorials, make sure to subscribe, and I'm sure I'll have a couple more coming out here pretty soon but yeah enjoy everyone i'll see you in the next one